everybody. Welcome back to Starfield. We are here. We have just landed on Aquila. We are ready to venture into Aquila City, Asher's hometown that he hasn't been back to in over 20 years. Hey, Sam. We'll try to keep out of your hair. Um, well, you won't need to keep out of my hair for very long then. We're, we're kind of already here. Um, so you'll be accompanying me on this jaunt, presumably, I, I guess. Otherwise, there's not really much point of me having hauled you all the way over here. Um, so, uh, I guess you two are staying put. Cora, how are you doing? Aquila's a fun place. Just keep your sidearm at the ready is what Dad always says. Yes. Your dad seems like a wise man. Now, speaking of your dad, um, you and he seem to share a rather unique surname for reasons that I'm sure are going to become clear before too long. See you later. Right, yes. Uh, are, are you coming with or, or staying put? If we're planning on staying a while, we could grab a room oh. at the Stone Root Inn. Oh, apparently Sarah's joining me. Okay, that's interesting me. Then, so... Is... Sam, not. Hold on, is that <laughs> is that Sam over there? Yeah, talk to Sam. How did you sneak past us? Hello, Vasco. Hello. How the hell did you do that? I swear, I just saw you on the ship. Um, hi. All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. Yeah. Um. Okay, that's fair. Um. Yeah, what about Cora? Is she staying on the ship? She stays with the ship, usually. That's what I said. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. Understandable. Okay, no, I think we're good to go. Let's uh, move on out. I take it you're leading the way? There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. Aha! As in Solomon Co. First yes! Man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before? The one I think is connected to an artifact. It's something of a family legend. After mm. Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. An anomaly. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Oh. Interesting. So this has been known since, what, the early days of the founding of Aquila City? That there's this patch of this anomaly, this empty nest? Okay. Um, so, yeah. So uh, I, This is the whole point I was making about his surname. So you are related to Solomon Co? Yeah, sorry. Thought you were just being polite, not mentioning it and all. A lot of people who don't know me assume my last name is Ko because the name's so damn popular in the Freestar Collective, thanks to Solomon. Once they find out I'm part of the legacy, things get complicated. Ah. So I try not to advertise it. That's fair, I guess. They, I mean, I, I don't know how deeply ingrained you are with the operation of Aquila City, but I'd imagine if, if people find out that you're related to the guy who actually founded it, they'd probably think that you, what, own Aquila City or run the place? So, so your family, yeah, you kind of like this, I guess. Your ancestral family, just to stress the point, built Aquila City? Yeah, and the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but... If you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Hmm. So the Freestar Collective, or the people of Aquila, before we get to Freestar territory, the people who settled Aquila were the f one of the first to break away en masse from the UC, from what I understand. Okay, so, yeah, why couldn't we have just used a planetary scan to find this empty nest instead of actually coming in? Not that I'm grumbling about being here because you'll find a whole lot of nothing gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic ah oh, fair not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the free star or smugglers out on the frontier put down okay that's fine right lead on then let's let's track down this empty nest solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank 
Oh. We'll be heading there. <gasps> We're actually going off of Solomon's original maps? Oh, very cool. Solomon Co. is a root. Is, did that say available to be a companion? <laughs> well, Sarah's worked it out already. She's already on her way to the ship. Oh, unless... Oh, I've automatically picked up Solomon as companion. Are you following me now? No, you're going your own way. <laughs> okay, yeah, Sarah's headed back inside. Awesome. Right, well, let's, uh, let's head on inside then. So, can you tell me anything more before we go in? We gotta get to that vault in Galbank. Uh, okay, let's go to the vault. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to chit chat later. <laughs> Welcome to Aquila City. We are here. Oh my gosh. So, like I said before, this is going to be a hell of a trip for Asher. He's not been here since he was five years old. Oh, there's a ship services hut. Okay. And the trade authority terminal. It's still under manufacturing warranty. Yes. Can I get an invoice? Oh. <laughs> what you need one of those for? Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? As long as it's written and signed, it could be on a loaf of bread. <laughs> Hello. You look like. I wish all the bots worked like Achilles. No nonsense. I was about to say, you look a bit like a fish out of water, but you, you seem quite at home here, actually. It's pretty dangerous out in space these days. Hmm. Hi, hello. Anything I can help you with? <laughs> Everybody's so keen to fix my ship. Um, okay, I can probably look at ships that are on offer later. Let's get into the city proper. At least I know where the uh, ship services are now. Oh, ho, ho. Welcome to Aquila City, established 2167 by Solomon Co. My god, you've even got the family name above the gate. Look at this. Hello? You're, <laughs> you're nobody of note. You look like somebody of uh, ample stature. Hello. That's what I thought. Have a good day. See, it's... Wasn't it Aquila City where... Who was it now? Lord... Whatever his face was. Found Vasco uh, in a state of disrepair down one of these side streets, I th think. That was Aquila City, wasn't it? Hello, you look like the welcoming committee. Hold it. Hmm. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Galbank. Oh? Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Oh, crap, that's where Never we're headed. Never a moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Co. Marshall will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Oh. Wait. What? The, does that make you a former Freestar Ranger then, Sam? Okay. Uh, Marshall Blake, I take it, is in charge of security? Not usually. But he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. Sure. Okay. Marshall's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang. So... He's calling the shots. Right. Um, so what exactly is going on? Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the marshal if you want the whole story. Wonderful. I'm sniffing a hostage situation here. Uh, how do I get to Galbank? It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. Well, I'll give it a try. Seeing as this is my, uh, my stamping ground and all. Okay, if people are in danger, I want to help. I guess that'd be the marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Stalemate's good. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. <laughs> we better see if we can help move this situation along. Asher's hearing is absolutely superhuman. Um, why don't you come over here, Sam? I don't bite. <laughs> good God. Uh, so, yeah, stalemate is actually a good thing. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. Remember, stay clear of Galbank unless you're helping the marshal. No, no. Oh, hold on. I hear shouting. I hear shouting and I see a familiar face. Is that Hunter again? Oh. Like who? 
about you. And I want to hear Rangers and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> Was the person inside saying they wish to speak to an unfamiliar face? Well, <laughs> my face is unfamiliar across the settled systems, I'll have you know. Sorry, there's Turning a Marshal. Here, here we go. A joke. Uh, Marshal Blake? You stand back now. Well, hold on, I, I might actually be able to help out. Uh, what's happening? It's a hostage situation. Now please, get back, or I'll have the guards drag you away. Well, hold on. Ho, 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 ho. Sounds like you could need a hand. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Hmm. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. Oh. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. Hmm. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. Not sure if you noticed just then, but when Sam was talking, it would appear that a ghost was walking across the courtyard away from us. Just, just pop back if you didn't see it. Uh, yeah, so they must have made some demands. Sound like they got a drop on you pretty good. I'm not here to sort of rub people up the wrong way. Tell me more about the Shaw Gang. The guard at the gate said that you know all about them? You're used to dealing with the shores? It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. Hmm. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they've just stayed home. I was going to say, if they normally operate outside of the city and just deal with smuggling, why the hell have they ventured in? Okay, so they, have they made any demands? They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. It's almost like this situation was made for me to walk into. Okay, so do you have a plan? Without demands, I ain't got much to work with. About all we can do is wait and see. Hmm. If I could slip in unseen, I could take them out quick. <laughs> yeah, I doubt that's going to go particularly well. Let me see what I can do with them. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to. But whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Okay, no also, demands. There are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. That's what I thought, hostages. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the hmm. bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him, and don't try nothing. Hmm. The Shaw Gang's making fools of us all. He doesn't seem particularly happy that I'm just being sent in. You've got my girlfriend in there. Oh. If she gets hurt, heads are gonna roll. Huh. Okay. Guess I'm heading in then. Who's this? Who's the guy Those in the tie? Guys are scared. Oh. <laughs> He doesn't have a time. Stay calm and let our security forces do their work. He looked like he was wearing a waistcoat and a tie. I have complete confidence in the marshal. Oh, I can imagine you do. This is nothing we can't handle. Righto. I'll get in there, too, sweet. Talk the ruffians down. See if I can't defuse the situation, eh? What? And then we'll all have tea. Right. Intergal Bank. Uh, right. There is an intercom. 
<laughs> Maybe I take the extremely softly, softly approach and just speak to them nicely before entering? You're the negotiator, huh? Apparently. You think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender? You're dead wrong. Only works if you're willing to cooperate. Let's just get this over with. First, I'd like to know who... Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's actually build a rapport with the ruffians first. First, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. Uh, sorry, who are you? Uh, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Unfortunate name. Okay, Jed. Uh, good to meet you. I'm Asher. Um, I sort of come from this place, so you're offending me with your presence. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger. How do I know you're going to deal straight with us? Hmm, persuade. Uh, trust me, the marshal did. <laughs> That's not saying a lot. This guy probably thinks the marshal's a fool. You really think you have a choice? Okay, yeah. Um, I give you my word. Just want to help out. Just want to kind of get you out of there. There's a map I need to find. I don't know you. So why should your word mean anything to me? Right. Uh, oh my god. That's a tough persuasion check. Eight persuasion. Huh, right, we'll we'll keep the green option till last, just in case it all goes south. Okay, uh, do you really want to stay trapped in that bank? Frankly, I don't need your trust. I've got the marshal and the guards on my side, and they will go... No, 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 no. Sam did say de-escalate, and I'm inclined to agree with him. Yeah, do you honestly want to stay trapped in that bank all night? I'm so ready to get out of here. That's what I thought. There you go, now you're thinking straight. Um, I want to help make sure things end the right way. Should we be, rather be somewhere else than stuck in a bank? <laughs> what the hell do I care? Trust me or don't, doesn't change the fact you're surrendered and trapped. Uh, surrounded and trapped. Okay. Yeah, wouldn't you like to be at home with your feet up or, I don't know, outside city limits in a shack or something? We're staying as long as it takes. Great. Okay. Now, <laughs> I'm relying heavily on the old if the final one succeeds, you win trick here. Let's go with the plus one. Uh, talking to me is the only way you're getting out of here alive. Keep everything crossed. I, uh, I see what you mean. Oh. Oh, I've got an extra turn? Oh, God. I feel like I'm pushing it by relying on RNG a second time. I might be the only thing keeping the marshal and his boys from bringing a very violent end to the situation. Uh, I, I understand you don't trust me right now. I'm your only lifeline. Do I go for the one that could be hard hitting and actually encourage him to give himself up? <laughs> or do I just go for the guarantee? Well, not guaranteed. Hopefully guaranteed win, because it's what I'm going for. I understand you don't trust me, but right now I'm your only lifeline. Yeah? Ah. Well, maybe that's just what you want us to think, so we'll give up. Nothing you say is going to change my mind, so let's just move on. Crap. <laughs> right, this is a problem. Um, uh, Marshall, I never said I was a qualified negotiator. Right, tell me your demands. Must be something you want. Stop talking before I get bored. Okay, uh, yeah, tell me about the hostages. We probably should concentrate on them. They talk too damn much. Complain about everything. As much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. Okay, that's positive. I guess. Um, I'd imagine they probably are taking to complaining. They are being held at gunpoint. Go on then. What do you actually want out of this? We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Yeah, the marshal's not gonna go for that. I'd, I'd imagine he'd be quite happy to accommodate your requests, apart from the whole ship and dropping passengers off and leaving the bank and walking free. Pretty tall order. How do I know you keep your word? Take a while to get you a ship. Ooh, stalling tactics. That could be a winner. Oh, hell, the Free Star Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. Well, that fell over. This whole damn job has gone <gasps> wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? Seeds of doubt. So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. That's a weirdly positive sign. They're cracking. Persu oh no, another persuade check. It's not too late to end this peacefully. I'll pass along your demands. I've heard enough. This is a waste of time. Okay, let's try the persuade. Hopefully this one goes a bit better. Yeah, it's not too late to uh, 
have this all end nicely. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> God, this eight again. Definitely three turns this time. I'm a, I'm a bit confused about the last one. I thought that was three turns as well, but I got a fourth go. Uh, anyway, surrender now before anyone gets hurt and things will be a lot better. The marshal's going to keep the hostages safe, whatever it takes. Let them go before this has to take. He has to take drastic action. <laughs> keep this up and it's your funeral. Nice, direct. Uh, I don't want things to turn nasty. I don't want to apply too much pressure. Okay. Yeah. Do the right thing before things have to turn sour. I know. I know. I'm not disagreeing with that. Give up now. You'll do some time. Sure. Nobody knows much. Those hostages are innocent bystanders. There's no need to involve them in this. There's no good outcome for you here. If you give up now, at least you'll still have your lives. That, see, that's not directly aggressive. And I could do with taking a chance once in a while to see if I can bump up some points. Oh, screw it. Yeah. <gasps> I don't think any of us is ready to die here. Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. <laughs> yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, maybe I uh, maybe I won't go charging in now. <laughs> Best not to uh, upset things. Yeah, that didn't go too badly, did it? Um. Oh. We won't be able to find Solomon's maps with those robbers crowding the bank. Yeah. Let's uh, let's see about getting them out of there. Next time. Uh, Marshall. <laughs> good things happened. Hello. Who are you? Quite a spectacle, isn't it? Um. Yeah. If they did come charging out guns blazing, you realise you're the first in the firing line, right? They told me to go home, but I'm not missing a moment of this. Well, as long as gawping is more valuable than your life. Uh, Marshall, um, <laughs> I, I kind of did a... There are lives at stake. Yeah, don't worry, taken care of. What's the world? Uh, it's over. <laughs> Maybe I could press him. Maybe take advantage of the situation. Yeah, I hope you got a nice reward for me, Marshall. I just saved the day. First things first. How'd you get the Shaw gang to stand down? Talk sense into them. Convince them it was the right thing to do. <laughs> Won them over with my irresistible charm. What's my name? Barrett? Scared them into submission. Oh, you, you didn't think I could do it? To be honest, no, I didn't. The Shaw gang isn't known for backing down. Yeah, but like you say, they are... A green detachment. If we'd been dealing with some of the higher ups, things might have gone differently. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I talked them round out of doing something stupid. Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. Oh, wow, you think so too? If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. Very interesting. Ooh. All right. 4,800. Let's get back in Galpack, see if we can get those maps. Uh, sh should we not? Oh, here they are. They didn't hurt you, did they? It's okay. I'm okay. I, I just need a minute. Uh, everything all right? Even after all this husband. time, we're still living hand to mouth. Nothing ever changes, no matter how hard I try. Uh, how are things going for you? What made you want to leave Sidonia? Wait, did, did I did I miss a beat here? I feel like I've, I feel like I should have met this person before. How do I know that they've left oh, that Sidonia? Um, how how are things here? <laughs> Other than the whole being stuck as a hostage in a bank thing. <sighs> Moving out here cost a lot. Now we're barely getting by. It's impossible to save up anything so Liv can have a future. Truth is, I was a fool to think anything would change. Now Simone and I barely talk and Liv. <laughs> That's oh. even worse. You know what the worst thing for a parent is? To look into your child's eyes and see pity. That's how you know you've hit the rock bottom. Wow. Uh, okay. Do you know what? I'm going to let you go and de-stress and put your feet up with your 
presumably wife for a little bit. Thanks for listening to me. Uh, no problem. So you must be Simone. Yeah, so I take it Liv is the daughter. Let's catch up with them later. I'm super intrigued. It feels like I should have already known that it came from Cydonia. I'm, I'm not entirely sure sort of how or why. Right, anyway, um, enough waffling. Let's get into Galbank and see if we can't... What's that? The hitching post. Nice. That, that's very cool. It's like a sort of open-ended barn or something. Right, into Galbank and see about these maps. So we're actually picking up Solomon Coe's original um, sort of survey maps of the planet. Wow, you uh, you tidied up quick. I'm I'm assuming it was a mess in here just now. Hello. Um, wait. Do I know you, William Crowley? Yeah, quite enough excitement for now. You look like one of the Shelbys from. Never mind. Oh, I suppose I'll have to write a report about all of this. I suppose you probably will. An armed robbery seems to be something that uh, head office would probably want to know about. I'm thinking I ought to hire some guards. <laughs> right. Um. Sam. <laughs> Hi. Wait. What's my actual objective at the moment? Talk to Emma Wilcox. Oh, it's reassigned my objective. I do definitely want to go and find out more about the Freestyle Rangers, but at the moment... Uh, let me see. Into the unknown, was it? Nope. The empty nest. There we go. Go to the Galbank vault. What? Just literally walk straight through to the vault? <laughs> After what's happened here just a short moment ago, I think that marching with purpose towards the vault's probably going to set off alarm bells. All right, let's get back to that bank vault. Yep. Or not. Okay, we'll we'll see ourselves through then, I guess. Um, don't mind us. We're just mooching around a bank. Why is there a rug? This I'm intrigued. Is this a living area? Oh no, it's just a plush office. Hmm. Hello, you've got a gun. <laughs> it's always a friendly sight. Uh, hello, armed guard. Do you know the way to the bank? Va. Okay. We'll take it from here. Oh, God. <laughs> that utterly baffled me. I I thought for a moment that these were the crew and these were the innocent civilians, but no, these are the actual gangsters. Nice Hello, all shore gangers. I bet you're living in regret now. Yes. What? Were you the one yeah, talking? Yeah, yeah. Or was that you? You the ringleader? That's the one, Jed Bullock. I just want to get out of here. Hi, you may Sorry, remember me from such talk downs as the Intercom. I hate this place. Now. Yeah, but mm -hmm. instead you, yes. you're waiting for someone to arrive with all the handcuffs by the sounds of it. Big water tank. Coffee machines. Like many coffee. Like how many different varieties of coffee machines do you need at a bank? Where's the... Oh, it's going to be underground, isn't it? Here we go. Authorised personnel only. And yet... Wait, where's Sam? Is he still sat over there? No. Are you coming or not? <laughs> people... People seem to be very, very trusting in this galaxy. I don't quite understand it. I've literally just pitched up All on right. this planet. Oh. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, <laughs> Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Right. Okay, let's get looking then. Oh, these are all safety deposit boxes. Rubbish. Uh, that's a bad idea, right? Yeah, they actually would get a bit edgy if I start stealing cred sticks from a bank. Oh, I see. All right, let's see. It makes sense now. This is one of those sort of personal... Wait. Did I? No. <laughs> did I just walk straight to it? Oh my gosh, I actually did. Secure storage locker. Secure storage locker. Okay. I actually literally just walked straight up to the right one. Yeah, don't worry, Sam. I think I've already found it. <laughs> Without your help. Cheers and all. You're dropping a subtle hint. Okay. Coffee glass, desktop sphere toy. Let's just take the note for Sam. 
Okay, now I need to talk to Sam. But I want to read his note first from his great, 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 great grandpappy. Let's see. I need to I need to get through these books. I haven't read these books yet. I need to set aside some time, I think. Uh, note. Note for Sam. Sam, I know you and your friends were going to come plunder your heritage at some point. You want those maps? You know where to find me. Jacob. Um. <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Got something to tell you. He wasn't here. Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. Uh, Jacob? Who's that? Why would he take the maps? Sounds like someone who doesn't fully trust you to do good with them. He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. Okay. That was direct. I'm walking into drama. This is the part where I walk into drama. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. I love me a bit of drama. Yeah, it sounds like we need to track this Jacob down. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. The estate? Cora's going to be so mad. Oh, family? Yeah, why would Cora be mad exactly? Is this... Wait, the estate. Is this going to be like the Co family ranch or something? Because I told her we wouldn't have time to check in with her. <laughs> Look, I was trying not to do this, okay? Okay. Persuade. Yeah, I could kind of do with knowing what we're getting into. So, are you going to level with me? We really got to do this. Why not? I've got a feeling it could be bad news if I, uh, <laughs> if I fail this one. Ah, I've heard of these. So yeah, certain skills that you pick up and certain traits and, and uh, backgrounds and that sort of thing give you, I'm pretty certain these are guaranteed win persuasion options, these sort of cyan blue highlighted ones. So we've got to drop that one, haven't we? The Freestar Collective Settler option. Come on, can't trust another Freestar. Had to pull that one out, did you? <laughs> oh, well, that went down well. We're going to the estate anyway. I'm going to find out. Um... Yeah, let's not be quite so blunt. Yeah, you'll feel better if you just let it out. Uh, maybe. All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? Oh. We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Cora's grandpa. Me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Mmm, so the marshals mentioned outside. You say that, but you brought us here, brought Cora. Um, yeah... What about Cora? Is she and your dad going to get along? Is I'm, I'm assuming Cora's met him before? <laughs> God, that's the worst part. Oh. The thickest thieves. <laughs> Last thing I need is Jacob in her life. Let's leave it at that. Right. So she's going to actually be really excited that she's visiting. Uh, okay, you say that, but yeah, you, you brought us here. You brought Cora. One thing's got nothing to do with the other. I was hoping for a quick in and out. No muss, no fuss. Mm. Turns out my luck didn't hold. Listen, there's going to be a whole lot more of this ahead if I need to talk to my old man, so... I'll try. But... Get ready for it. <laughs> okay, this could be interesting. Let's get out of this vault before I end up doing something... Uh, slightly illegal that I uh, end up regretting. Okay, actually, follow me this time, please. Sa You're going to be trouble, aren't you? So. <laughs> okay, thanks for just freely letting us wander through your vault. Um, yeah, I was saying it does make sense, actually. It's one of those walk-in sort of safety deposit box vaults as opposed to a bank vault. So, yeah, it makes sense that it's uh, open to the public, I guess. So, um, where might we find Jacob? Where is it we're headed now? This way, apparently. So, I want... Wait, hold on. Do I recognise that symbol? That looks like a gold... Like a big gold dish or medallion or something at the top of that building, which I'm thinking could... Potentially be um, 
What are they called? <laughs> Sanctum Universum? Solomon Cole really wore that. Some make it seem like he built the whole damn three star collector by himself. Eh, I'm sure some of the tales grew in the telling, but no one denies he found Cheyenne. And set up his camp not far from here. Aquila City was his baby. I don't buy it though. The United Colonies wouldn't let some ragtag settlers stake a system like this without a fight. It was a different time. Everything was new. Everyone fleeing Earth is... I can't wait to get back to the ship. But gravity here's something else. Hmm. And there is no way he wore that getup. Yeah, that is quite the outfit. Yeah, 1.51G here. I can see why Sam doesn't particularly like the uh, the strong gravity here. So, hello. You look mischievous. Oh, are you the... Oh, what are their names now? Got this love the... with Solomon Cole. Nobody's being objective about the other. Did you just repeat what you said just now? Do you have short-term memory loss? Um... Is this the... Oh, what are they called now? The Bounty Hunters Guild. If you've got yeah, Trackers takes, Alliance. Trackers Alliance is always offering work. Okay, thank you. Um, I guess I don't need to speak to you just yet. I do kind of need to find uh, Jacob's estate. Sal, I could really do with a bit of a pointer here. Let's see. Up the hill and round to the right by the looks of things. What have we got? Is this a... Is this a Chunks? <laughs> they got a Chunks restaurant here. Amazing. Yeah, I think that is Sanctum Universum over there by the looks of it. And the uh, Her Oh, the Co-Heritage Museum. Oh, wow. Oh, it's going to be entertaining dragging Sam around there. Here by the looks of things. Okay. This way. I can hear an SSNN broadcast, so they obviously... Uh, Transmit all the way out here. Well, I suppose it makes sense. They are the Settled Systems News Network. Oh, this building looks a bit more modern. Interesting. Okay. A few little huts and buildings there. Freestyle Collective Consulate. Let's see what that is. Uh, residence, I presume. Looks like this is guided around to the right. If you're looking for work, Cartwright might have something, or point you the right way. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> okay. See Mayor Cartwright about a job. Well, I'll bear that in mind. Um. Oh. Outside the wall, things get dicey. Ashta are no joke. Ah. Even for us. Yeah, I've heard about Ashta. Oh, even for us. Who are you calling us? The Freestar Rangers. The Rock. That's not where we're going, is it? No, we're heading down over that way by the looks of it. And then... Oh, in there. So that's the co-estate. Interesting. Uh, I want to check this out, though. What the heck's this? Some old ruin by the looks of it. I'm probably going to live to regret that. Some old ruin. Uh, Something, 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 FB. Wait. Looks as though that. It looks as though the building used to be some sort of cliffside lookout. Is this. Oh, is this a drop off? It is. So that is the outside. That's outside the perimeter. What's that over there? There's a settlement. You didn't hear this from me. Those elliptic mercenaries? The factions use them sometimes. Freestar Collective and UC both. That's why they give them a wide berth. Ask me. Those murdering assholes should be blasted into space dust. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, quite why anybody would want to um, contract them for any work is beyond me. Oh, there's a gate there. Okay, so this is the city perimeter. What the hell? <laughs> Where are you boost packing? <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> Um, oh, interesting. Oh, is that a... Looks like there's some sort of settled area just outside the walls, but the Ashta are out there. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, back this way. 
big three star symbol over the rock, whatever that is. So it's obviously somewhere of some importance. But for now, <laughs> we're reopening old wounds by the looks of it. Let's go see your dad, Sam. Come on, I can tell you're keen. Is this the fella? Looks to be. Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? What's that? What's that flashing light you come from? to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Oh, oh. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Excuse me. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Well, this is a heartwarming reunion. Your companion can speak on your behalf. Yep, yeah, I'm aware. Thank you very much. This isn't about you or your ancestry. It's bigger than that. Whoa, don't drag me into this. <laughs> I, I suppose I should show some solidarity with Sam here. Uh, I've got as much rights to these maps as anyone. I might I might let Sam sit this one out, actually. Just why do you hate each other so much anyway? <laughs> Come on, let's poke the hornet's nest. There's only one place a co ought to be. And it ain't out there in the star field doing Lord knows what. Putting our future at risk. Hmm. You might be taking things a little bit out of hand, but I do kind of get the, um, I suppose, the ceremonial importance of the Co family as a whole. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to let Sam wind things up even worse than they are at the moment. Yeah, this isn't about you or your ancestry. It's, it's something bigger than that. You watch him twist this on <laughs> back on Constellation or off on one of your adventures again. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. Hmm. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk in private. <laughs> Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Well, you are an absolute bag of roses, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> and you're totally not blocking us from accessing that door, are you? Not like there's anything inside that uh, we might be interested in. Right, let's um, let's head down here out of the way. Sam. You wanted to go somewhere private. That's it. I'm just going to meander around the co-residence here. This is uh, this is quite expansive, isn't it? I mean, I know it's the first... I know it's the first Akita City homestead that I've actually sort of wandered through, but I can imagine they're not the biggest of places. Oh, interesting. Pink slippers, posters on the wall. Is this Cora's room? I think it must be. What have we got here? Incense burner. Lots of books. History of pirates. Hmm, everything's marked as stealing if I take it, so uh, maybe I should keep my hands to myself. Whoa! Okay! <laughs> I wasn't expecting a bathroom this big or this bright, but fine, I'll take it. Whoa! Okay. Sorry, Sam. Um, I wish... I wish the notepads that are laying around didn't look quite so much like data slates. I get all excited every time I see them. Ah, uh, right. Something tells me this is Sam's old room. Oh, and that just leads straight back into Akita City. Okay, right, Sam. Um, you wanted a little private chat. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. Can we kill your dad? <laughs> That's not an option. <laughs> okay, need a minute? Want to talk about what just happened? No, I don't. It's just... It's been a while, but this is how it goes. Every time. Hmm. And yet, you mentioned that Cora and him get on like a house on fire. <sighs> there is an option... Yeah, you mentioned that they get on well. He mentioned he wants to see his granddaughter. 
I don't want to use her as a pawn, but at the same time, she could help to ease him up a bit, I guess. Otherwise, the maps have to be somewhere you distract him. I can look around. Yeah, we can fall back on that one. Uh, or I could speak to Jacob. He might see reason. Ooh. I think... I would like to... I'd like to actually try this in this order. <laughs> maybe... Maybe speaking... Hmm. I don't mind spending some extra time with you. Oh, that's awfully accommodating of you, Sam. Thank you kindly. Let me go and speak to him first of all. Maybe we'll consider getting Cora after, but I'd like to leave her out of it if possible, and I'm sure you would too. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Well, we're about to find out. Optional, talk to Jacob and persuade him. Talk to Jacob and have Sam distract him or ask Cora for help. Okay. Uh, did I pop my head in here? Oh, God. <laughs> That's taking me outside. Wait, this isn't... <gasps> it is! Oh, I was just about to say, I wonder if... Oh, that's the other one that, that led off in the other room. I was about to say, I wonder if they've got a balcony. <gasps> oh, okay. Wasn't quite what I thought it was, actually. I thought this might have been a balcony, like, overlooking the perimeter wall of the city, but... Uh, I've seen a few... Interesting. I've seen a few of those tags. Those sort of jaw mask symbols uh wow it took me far too long to realize the sun's coming up nice dawn in aquila city right let's go and uh whisper sweet nothings into your father's ear oh master co well mr co senior sorry need to show uh reverence to the authority what do you want constellation oh good you've given me a nickname how original so, what is your problem with Constellation, anyway? You mean besides the fact that you're some independent group that doesn't know where your loyalties lie? Or are you referring to the fact that my granddaughter lives in your clubhouse rather than in her family home? Yeah, you are sour and bitter and twisted, aren't you? We're going to get her along like a house on fire. So, Sam wanted to talk to you about something. No. Um, yeah, we, we need to get those maps, but we'd like to do it amicably if you'll allow us jacob well that's not your decision is it it's called property by birthright it stays here hmm i'm gonna play that card cool so constellation just wants to follow up on solomon's work which is partly true the sooner you agree the sooner we're out of your house hand over now sam is living up to solomon's legacy in his own way exploring space to be fair jacob Solomon started Aquila City because he wanted to break away from the norm and go out and actually explore new horizons and forge a destiny. Does that not kind of ring bells with what Constellation is doing? I can't disagree oh, that Solomon was an explorer. I'll admit. I can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. Wow. They're in the other room here. Key. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that. That was unexpected. What's. Why is there a sextant on the floor? Very careless. It's a delicate piece of um, equipment. Where do I. Hold on. Is there somewhere. Jacob. Could I. Hold on. Let me. No. Uh. Crap. Uh... Perfect. That'll do. At least it's not on the floor. So, here? Yes, Jacob's office key. I knew he was protecting that door for one reason or another. My own father's trying to keep those maps from me. <sighs> You're not going to say thanks for yep, persuading him? Too. <laughs> right. Let's have a snoop while we're here. Oh, this would have been the best place for the sextant, wouldn't it? Oh, well. Oh, this is his bedroom? Okay. This is a rather nice room. Uh, and this is what? A door outside again? Yes, it is. With an ensuite. Well, well, well. Any... Oh, wait, hold on. No, look at these notepads. Cora been here? 
Hmm. Right, nothing. Nothing. Ooh, hello. What have we here? Solomon's Adventures 1. Permanently increases weapon damage at night by 5%. Specifically at night. Okay, that's curious. That's a very cool cover. <laughs> Solomon Co. has his own comic book series. Amazing. Never invited Constellation into my house. Yeah, uh, most accommodating of you, actually. Although I don't think you technically invited us. Oh, wow. Oh, I love the red stone walls. Jacob, you've got some class, I've got to be honest. <gasps> Solomon's Maps. Original map of Aquila. What have we got there? <laughs> I'm having to turn this way because... Uh, hold on. Can I, can I turn this? No, I cannot. I can't actually pick it up as an object. Um, craggy Coast. <gasps> the Empty Nest. It's marked there. Plus... 78.9 degrees north, 5.1 degree uh, east, west, east. <laughs> Where do coordinates go? You've got North Tundra, Craggy Coast, the Dark Sea, there's something else, sees Scrubland, Solomon's Island, and the Hinterlands Tundra down in the far south. Well, let's have a little poke around. If there's anything else of interest before we uh, make our way out. No, nothing. <laughs> Exotic wood decoration. Yeah, let's not go stealing his artwork. Oh, Sam! Jacob, thank you. You've actually been very accommodating. Us Coes have been in government for generations, making sure the Free Star Collective is run the right way. Getting said government to do anything worthwhile is like hurting Ashta. It takes perseverance, compromise, and above all, respect. You try to groom your successors. But wisdom's often wasted on the young. Huh. Was that a subtle dig, Jacob? It wasn't meant to be subtle, son. <laughs> oh, he called him son, though. He didn't call him Sam, he called him son. It was still a bit of a dig, though. Um, <laughs> so you... I take it he's not, like, the ruler of Aquila City, and that's quite cool. I like the fact that there isn't a... A, like a president, one person in charge. It sounds like it's run by almost like a council structure. Um, so what oh, What did you do? Did. Past tense. Interesting. Who's the top dog now then? But what did you do in government? What didn't I do? I had quite a long career. I mainly made my name keeping credits and trade flowing. Never dull. Always a million fires need putting out. Hmm. Sam's work with Constellation helps everyone, Aquila City included. Doesn't sound easy, sounds like you had quite a career. Hmm. I'm not gonna push the Constellation front, I don't think. Let's continue to butter him up a bit. It sounds like you had quite the career. I did my part, and then some. Back in my day, we tackled some whoppers. The colony wars damn near wrecked our economy. Took years of dedicated work, every day wondering if the whole financial system was going to crater on our watch. But we got it done. Damn near had a nervous breakdown. Best hmm. years of my life. Hmm. Interesting take. He actually seems not too bad. He's just bitter, I think, because Sam didn't want to take up the reins here in Aquila City. Yeah. Um, obviously... Asher has his own take on what actually happened, but from your perspective, from Aquila City's perspective, and from the Collector's perspective, how bad was the war? Never forget that it was the United Colonies' greed that started it all. So many terrors unleashed on the galaxy, and for what? Piles of dead? And it almost set us back centuries. Mm. Anyone trying to sell you that there's glory in war has never lived through one of them. Yep, I can understand that. Surprised you enjoyed it. Yeah, the, 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 the pressure, the stress, the, the worry day in, day out that the whole thing could collapse from underneath you and you enjoyed it? Nothing worthwhile comes easy. It's the stuff that almost kills you. That makes you feel like you really lived. Well, I doubt you came to hear me wax poetic. What do you need? Hmm. Do you feel pressure to live up to Solomon Coe's accomplishments? Are you proud of your family's legacy? Um, yeah, 
it's interesting that Sam is not in a hurry to sort of live in the shadow of Solomon Co. I wonder how Jacob feels. Oh no. I've got no control over the actions of those who came before me, and I don't feel beholden to them either. Solomon was a true pioneer and a risk taker. I respect that. But I'm not him. Fair. I'm a man who appreciates the simpler joys in life. I'm no thrill seeker. And I don't feel like I need to make my mark on the world. A highball of good whiskey and a sunset to watch it with. It's all the accomplishment I need. You're actually not so bad, Jacob. So proud of your family's legacy? Of course. Of course. Solomon Coe was a great man, no doubt about it. If it weren't for him, there'd be no Aquila City and probably no Freestar Collective either. And of course, the name comes with certain benefits around town, if you hmm. catch my meaning. I never turned down a free drink in Solomon's honor. Should it, it come my way. <laughs> well, you take care of yourself. Nice to see these actually come round. Eventually. <laughs> it took some persuading. Right. Uh, Sam, we actually have the map. All right. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings <laughs> he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. What, were you looking at the map? <sighs> That's it was problem. Li literally marked with coordinates. Um... Don't say it like that, man. He's actually bad enough as it is. Yeah, tell me what you spotted. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. Okay. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Oh. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Okay. Well, surely there, nothing we can't deal with. Bringing outlaws to justice sounds like fine work. Damn, I was hoping we were done. Criminals with our artifact. They better not break it or sell it. Uh, how are they surviving outside the walls? I, I'd be quite interested to visit that settlement as well that I saw from up high as well. I thought the Ashtar were horrendous beings that tore anything asunder. Criminal groups in Aquila always find a way. But they usually have to keep on the move to avoid the Ashtar. Well, it could just be a coincidence that the cave we want happens to be where the Shaw Gang runs around. But something doesn't feel right. You think they're after it, maybe? Yeah, criminals with our artifact, they better not break or sell it. Hey, if they're willing to trade, all the better. But the Shaw Gang is a uh, shoot first kind of outfit. I'm fine with that. All right, time's a wasting. Let's get to that cave. Woohoo! Exciting! Right then, Jacob, we'll see you later. Or maybe never, if you get killed by the Shores. Actually, a fairly accommodating man in the end. I kind of want to bring Cora by just to. It's just so she can sort of see her granddad. Uh, so, I guess we need to... I guess we need to go through one of those perimeter gates, right? Which is the best way, I wonder to myself. Oop, this away. Okay, then round here. Oh! Any paperwork we need to file to clear it out? Is it zoned for commercial use? <laughs> this isn't the UC. As long as you are courteous to the neighbors, you will be fine. We're still waiting on the loan from Galvin. Now, I must warn you, man, that Oak and Aquila are very particular about doing business with the UC. I'm intrigued. When they see our prices, I'm sure they'll come down. As you see. Is this a house for sale? I don't suppose this time you're here to buy property. Be careful. Simple fall ain't so simple in high gravity. Uh, hi. Are you... Are you nice salesman? You. I'm Mr. Tate, and you have the look of a newcomer. I won't tell Welcome that's an insult. Welcome to City. I don't suppose you're in the market for real estate. Funnily enough. If so, then look no further. Yeah, um, curiously, I was kind of intrigued. I not really put much thought into it yet but i guess i could be up for buying property here so 
<laughs> you accost every passerby about your properties. I actually approached him, to be fair. Don't know about buying a house. I'm interested in owning a home. I'm a native of the Freestyle Collective, not some tourist. I'll have you know. Oh, where are my manners? Very sorry. I hope my insensitive assumptions don't turn you away from considering my properties. I oh. have two properties for sale. <gasps> this one here is a refurbished colonial manor in the heart of the core. I also have a more modest one bedroom in Midtown. Any interest in them? Um, hmm. So, yeah, tell me about the core manor. That's this one that we're next to, yeah? It's my favorite listing I've had in years. Spacious in the core itself. I took great pains to get all the approvals, so the neighbors should be no problem. It's historic and spacious. Oh my, so much space. And the price is a veritable bargain. How much are we talking? 78k? Actually, not as much as I'd anticipated. But not just yet. I can't say I'm surprised. As rare as properties like this are, rarer still is the buyer who can afford it. Hey, now hold on. But you do take care. <laughs> Don't go casting aspersions. So, this is... This area is the core? Is that right? Can we look around? Core residence locked. Okay. <laughs> Got my eye on you. By local, but the bottom line always wins. Mm -hmm. I'm coming for that property. Right, so. Oh, Midtown. Right, it's actually signposted. Oh, so it's in... The town is laid out in tiers as you go down the cliff, I guess. I wonder if we're heading this way. Yeah, we are. To that gate by the looks of it. Oh no, what is this? Oh my god, there's so much to explore. See the magnified glass for it. It looks like we're down two crates of aluminum. No, the guard took that to reinforce the railings on the wall. I have a note from Bailey. Two crates aluminum. Signed Bailey. Not one for paperwork, is he? <laughs> You're lucky you got that much. Some people don't like to leave a paper trail. Understandable. Okay, so just as soon as we arrived, <laughs> we're heading back out of city limits. Next stop wouldn't be the Charybdi system, would it? We got a report of a distress call out there. We don't have the ships to send someone that far out. Charybdis? Find the distress call in the Charybdis system. Um, Sam, <laughs> I think we've got more uh, work cut out for us later on. Oh, where does... Oh, does this... Does this go to like a guard post? Above the gate? Oh, nice. Well, might as well scoop out where we're headed. Where are we headed? Out that way somewhere by the looks of it. Looks like there's another, another couple of buildings off in the distance. Oh, so cool. <laughs> it's even a little fold out chair. Look at this. Is that a ship out there as well? I'm really intrigued as to what that could be. In fact, can we scan? I noticed there wasn't a scan hit. There is that way though. Oh, that is the empty nest. It's only 700 meters away. Nice. And then what's this? Let's see if you can get me vid reception. I'm missing my stories. <laughs> I'm not here to watch TV, Sam. Come on. Okay, 700 meters outside of town. That doesn't sound so bad. Doesn't sound like we'd encounter too much along the way, I hope. East Gate. Okay, worth bearing that mind. Oh? Ashed out there. And they are no joke. You've been warned. Just one quiet day. Not too much to ask for. Yeah, I think. Sam is probably... Uh, Sam. Oh, I hate when he does that. Come on, Sam. So, what can you tell me about the outside? Saw your ship come in. Nice ride. Uh, thanks. What can you tell me about the outside? Ever run into spacers? Scumbags Okay, bye. You're like wow. Away That's a surprisingly door. slim door for what I expected. I think I want to shut that behind us. Okay. 
Look at this. So, oh, these are farms? Aluminum farms? <laughs> yeah, it looks like these are sort of robot farmsteads. Kilo wheat. They won't mind if I borrow one. Surely. Nutrients added. Okay. Hello, robot. Um. Intel wheat growing at seventeen percent faster than projections. Intelli wheat. The farms are dangerous for human personnel. Right. Interesting. So not only are these things automated, they're also not supposed to have humans hanging around? Waiting for remote orders. Executing default duties. Are you aware you have a fire extinguisher strapped to your leg? Hey. Okay. Uh but there are these little areas. Bless these like little gardens. Oh I like this. Alright. Quick whip rounds, just see if there's anything of interest around here. No, it doesn't look like it. No, just little access gantries to these big orbs, whatever they are. Okay. So. We are heading this away. So we've got quite a trek ahead of us. There we are. That's the empty nest. So it's interesting. Whoa. Hello. Are you an Ashtar? No, you're not. A grazing Ensifer. Okay, that scared me more than it should have. Um, so interesting that this empty nest that... Uh, whoa, what are you? Okay. I don't know what the Ashta actually are. The way they've been um, described, they sound like big scary creatures. What's this? Savannah Sweetbush. Okay, I probably should be scanning this stuff, shouldn't I? Whoa. Yeah, so the way um, the Ashtar have been described, I think they're probably big, scary creatures. So um, I would imagine anything that shows up as a herbivore <laughs> probably isn't anything to worry too much about. But I'm super intrigued by the positioning of this empty nest. Because if it's, uh, if it's an area that is as um oh hello that's an ashta right looks like they're around sam let's get myself armed oh i needed to i still need to pick up more 11 mil where is it where's my where's my fancy gun yeah peacekeeper oh i've got no ammo for it at all rubbish yeah i need to still uh, go and pick up some 11 mil ammo from somewhere all right, let's not tangle with an Ashta just yet. But yeah, this uh, the positioning of this empty nest is um, quite interesting because it looks like it is pretty close to not only Akita City, but also that little farming settlement over there, the farm that we've just passed through. Hello up there. Berlin Rotifer. Okay. Oh. Elk. Prangan. So, in terms of... Wait, something creeping up on that elk Krangan. That's an Ashta. Right, I'm having you. Oh, God. Mistakes were made. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Okay, hold on. What else can I pull out? Uh, Coachman? Whoa. Whoa. No. Stop it. Naughty. Wow. That thing hits hard. Whoa. Like mega hard. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Sam, save me. <laughs> Oh, 
Boah. Oh. Oh. That thing hits hard. Okay, perhaps I won't be so cocky around the uh, the wildlife in the future. Alien genetic material and answering microbial. Jeez. Um. <laughs> right, let's get this thing reloaded. Here we go. Okay, we've got to scale this hill. Let's head over this way. So, I've not encountered any of this shore gang yet. Oh, why is it getting so misty? That's a bad thing. I've not encountered any of this shore gang around here just yet. And of course there's gunfire. The moment I say it, there's gunfire. Because why wouldn't there be gunfire? Right, where is this place? Over here. Oh, there's some sort of construction here. So I wonder if they hold up. Yeah, hold on. Are you sure? You're certainly showing up red. So I guess you are. What? The hell are they shooting at? Oh, they got turret defenses. Marvelous. Right. What I could do with doing. Seeing as there's a turret. This is Shark Egg territory. And they're usually not the one to talk. You ready? Okay. Makes sense. Good to be prepared. Speaking of being prepared. Ooh, is that. I think that's a computer terminal. And what I was about to say is I should be paying attention to whether there are terminals if they have turrets or bots, potentially as part of their defenses. I need to be careful of you. Oh, hold on. Oh, balls, there's a turret. There's a turret there somewhere. I can't make out where it is. If I can sneaky snoo over to... What is that? Hold on. Oh, it's the laser from the turret. Okay, that's quite handy because it kind of shows me where it is. Oh, man. Have I still got... Have I still got my chameleon pack? Yes, I have. Let's switch to that. <laughs> At least I can freeze and chameleonize myself if the turret turns to face me. Although it doesn't look... Oh, I think the turret is on the other side of this, uh, this metal divider. So if I can creepy creepy, I might be able to turn these defenses to my side I hope whoa it's just on the other side of that divide <laughs> right please please be a turret control terminal yes it is amazing update friend foe recalibrate friend foe yay friends <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Right, that could help us. That could help us to identify where... Whoa, Jesus! Oh man, they're really turning on the turrets, aren't they? I heard a voice. Hello! Hi there. Thankfully, these guys look like they... Well, look like they're not too bothered about wearing decent armor. We could use that to our advantage. Oh, there's a bot. There's Sam. Uh, okay, that's fine. That was a ship landing at Aquila City. Right, they've got some sort of robot. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. Thankfully, their weapons seem to be really weak as well. Right, I keep hearing a voice down this way. I think there might be a couple of short gangers inside the tent. Where are you looking? Oh. 
<laughs> right, I want to check out this tent here. No, no, don't get up. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, wow. So come out from in the bush. Nice. Where you at? Where? Oh, hello. I guess that is where we're headed. There's a short ganger behind that cover, which I can't get to. Right. Let's get on top of here. In fact, I don't want to get on top of here. I think there might be a couple of people inside this shack. Which warrants me getting a different weapon. Don't use the uh, the old med theft kraken for a while. Oh crap, they've exited out the uh, out the side door. Come here, you. Whoa! How about I shove a shotgun in your face, eh? Oh. Okay. He's gone running off. Where's he gone? <gasps> you see him, Sam? It's gone awfully quiet. I think they've just gone running off into the bush. <laughs> I could do with something with a bit more precision, I think. Where are you? Show yourself. <laughs> well, that's the end of you. I think that was the guy with the shotgun. Yes, it was. Looting the dead ain't glamorous, but it sure is profitable. Yeah, it also helps when you're low on ammo. For one of your favourite weapons. I hope I can pick up some 11 mil from somewhere. That would be awfully nice. Okay. Whilst it's relatively quiet... But you know what? I don't like how quiet it is. Ooh, someone ran here by the looks of it. Oh, they're on the other side of this rock. Whoa! You slimy worm! set down mines. That was rude. Uh, I don't actually know if I can scan for mines. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that I cannot. Whoa. Sam, watch your back. Yeah, I don't think you can scan for mines. <laughs> I think I may have just lured myself into a false sense of security. Why are these... Well, out of here. Oh. good God, that's really getting annoying now. <laughs> they seem to be incendiary mines as well, just to pee me off. Oh, damn it! Oh, eleven mil. <gasps> right, seeing as I've got eleven mil, let's get out my new friend. Where have you gone? Hello! <laughs> Just absolutely minces them. I love it. Okay. We've only got one more enemy. Hi. We've only got one more enemy out there who I believe is probably still cowering down by the, the entrance over there. So let's go looting some tents whilst we're here. Oh, more 11 mil. Wonderful stuff. Toxins. Let's see, what have we got? Uh, aluminum. I could do without being over encumbered if uh, if at all possible. Oh, hello, Sidestar. What are you? Oh my god, legendary pistol. Nice. Right, I'll take a look at that. Actually, new items need to make more use of that. Legendary Sidestar. Okay, so Space Adept, plus 30% damage while in space, minus 15% damage while on a planet. So that's a little bit like the Spacer trait. Lacerate, randomly applies a bleed effect to the target, demoralizing, small chance to demoralize a target. Very cool. What do we got here? Oh, lots of tasty ammo. Oh, I would have loved some 
We've got some more 11 mil caseless shotgun. Caseless shotgun. A duck! Some drinky poos. Okay. Oh, hello. Data slate. Homesteader complaints. Homesteader complaints, bulletin board system message. I've been hearing rumblings about ranchers and homesteaders around these parts complaining about getting harassed about their land. Now, I'm not saying we couldn't be doing anything ourselves. It'd be slim pickings if you ask me. What I am saying is if we're not doing it, we better be making sure it isn't coming back on us. If we're not doing it, better be making sure it isn't coming back on us. Right, so they were camped out here. These, uh, these filthy, filthy um, gangers were camped out here. But local homesteaders were... have been known to defend their turf hard, so let's not get too careless. Oh, speaking of which, I'm sure I just heard a, uh, a sniper round whistle past my ear. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hold on, shore ganger. I'll put you out of your misery. There we go. That's better. Sit down. Have a rest. You deserve it. Yeah, so homesteaders were being uh, harassed and they wanted to make sure that they weren't getting the flack for it. All right, any Good God. That's huge. Lithium. All right, looks decent. What's that? Space truck ahead. Space helmet. We'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Bad people, bad jokes too. No thanks. Trying to cut down on awful reads. Thank you very much. What's this? A Razorback? I am over encumbered. I'm going to have to sort my inventory pretty soon, I think. Crack grenade, inferno mine. That's what they were lacing the outside with. Bloody inferno mines. What's this? Settlers casual wear. No oh, thanks, I'll pass. More inferno mines. More inferno mines. Shore gang welcome. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Is this like an initiation record? Welcome to our little camp. It doesn't look like much, but I know you'll find a place for yourself here. It certainly beats living under the thumb of the Free Star Guards. Plus, the Ashton don't come around here, so outside of Aquila, this might be the safest place on the planet. Join me for a drink when I get back. From Scandia Williams. I wonder if uh, Scandia Williams might be the, the boss? Oh, that's a rather attractive farming hat. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Tombstone. What are you? Rifle. Okay. I've seen one of you before. Uh, what's this? Red Harvest Milk Stout. David Copperfield. Did I take David Copperfield? I think I probably did, but hey ho. Uh, okay, cool. That is lead. Bridger. But did I say Bridger or Brigadier? I didn't quite catch it. All right, real quick. Uh. Real quick mooch around. Wait, what's in here? Nothing. The inside of this construct. And then we'll make our way over. What have we got? Credit? Don't mind if I do. Broken everything. From Ong Noknoi. I only just noticed you can see a from in the grey part in the top left. This unit served us very well, yet the time has come for us to admit that without a few new parts, our repairs are not going to last. If we want this to work more than a few days at a time, I'm going to need a new deformable nozzle, at least a functional reactive gauge, and some isotopic coolant to refresh the system. It's not much to ask for all of us, and for this loyal unit, please find this part. Unit. Loyal unit. I wonder if they were talking about their robot. They might have been talking about their robot guard, you know. Their loyal unit. Well, worry not about those spare parts. Your robot won't be needing them any longer. My dad, meatloaf. Don't mind if I do. Uh, simpler times. You're definitely new. I really need to sit down and read all these things at some point. Hello, credit sticks. 196, 191, 150. Very nice. Oh, and a wee slice of toast and grapes. Nom, 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 nom. drop some of that. I'm hurting just watching you. I'm eating. I'll drop it. There. Happy. Uh, right. What have we got? Anything else? Binoculars. Uh, general crap. More cred sticks. Nice. This is turning into a little uh, lucrative visit. Okay. Uh, blood spatters. This is fine. Sandwiches. Lighters. Okay. Anything else of interest? I'm not going to raid the fridges. I'm not quite that desperate. Uh, food, food, food. Deep, 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 deep. Cool. Right. One is Sam. Uh, 
let's head on over and see what the hell this uh, this empty nest is all about. So not even animals will enter. Is that is that basically a sign that animals can sense there's something very wrong about the place? Oh, I bet we could have... Oh, I missed the bot. Where was the bot? He's a loot the bot. Hello, bot. Didn't have anything of interest anyway. Oh, we could have hacked the bot. Oh, well. Disappoint. Whoa. Microbial contamination. Oh, the water. Get out of the water, Sam. Okay. This is interestingly built up. I didn't expect this to be reinforced. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, hello. And I've got a decent amount of 11 mil as well. Let's see if I can take out the entire Shaw Gang uh, infestation. Well, that'll help. <laughs> you dicks. What was she saying? This whole cave should be swarming with Ashta, but they won't put a paw in here. Ooh, did you pick? Structural material. Shaw Gang Cave Key. Was that you that was talking? <laughs> Can't believe they took each other out like that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Wow. This, uh, uh, hello. Got another option with a passage over there. Yeah, um, it's laced with mines by the looks of it. That's a pain in the ass. Now, I wonder, you could defuse these in Fallout 4. I wonder if that's, uh, an option here. Well, well, well. Turns out, that's exactly what can be done. Anymore? Is that a mine? No, that's some ammunition. Don't mind if I do. Wait, so what was... Why was this option here? Was this if I wanted to sneak past them? I mean, <laughs> they kind of started the pyrotechnics all by themselves. Oh, there's more of them down there. All right, let me just get this open. Oh. Wait, what? There we go. It might be your favourite part, Sam, but I'm doing all the work. Although I think... Is that it? There's one more pip on the chronomark. Tell you what, you hold them off. I'm going to go back and loot. <laughs> They're obviously not in a hurry to reveal themselves. In case... I really need to offload some of this loot. Good grief. Uh, Graviplar's helmet. I'll pass, thanks. Trying to cut down. Did you pick? More Gravi... Oh, what's that? Charity in a Godless Universe, Part 4. That's definitely new. I've got so much to read. Oh, hello. Shogang Cave Key. Already got one, but I'll take another one. Oh, biosuppressant. That looks rare. Contraband cash. Wait. I don't want that, do I? <laughs> I don't want to go picking up contraband. I mean, I do. Oh, an Astra Tamer. Hello. Rare heavy weapon. Incendiary. Randomly deals incendiary damage with attack stock. 127 physical damage? Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, what's that? No, wait, what's that? Nothing. Did you not take that last one down? I have to do everything myself. Whoa. Alright. Sure. That is your real name. The laughable thing is they're really, really low level. So their weapons were doing oh, nothing to me. Is tectonically sound. Effect Rappler, Ryan Engineering Suit. Right, do we have any more of these shore types? Probably should be scanning for more mines here, shouldn't I? I 
Doesn't seem to be any, though. Nor does there seem to be any shores. Interesting. So... They were investigating this cave system, the Shore Gang. They'd noted that creatures don't like coming in this far. Ooh. But it seems as though they also didn't want to venture in. Hello, I know that sound. <gasps> oh, floaty cubie bobs. Well, I mean, if you insist. Floaty cubie bobs. Boop. Oh, there it is. Artifact Chi. Okay. Well, Sam, really? You're ruining the moment. <laughs> Get out of the way. Oh, God. <laughs> What's this going to do? Am I going to see another vision? Time to find out. Oh, that's different. was definitely different that was the, the, it was the, the, the same the same event happened um but it looked as though whatever the schematic thing that was in the vision when we were fully zoomed out was somehow a little bit more complete does it do we collect more of these things and then that vision sort of pieces itself together Guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you would like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, pop those down below. Um, I'd be very intrigued as to what you're all thinking about what the hell these artifacts are actually trying to tell us. But until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.